ever wondered how to make the perfect lobster mac and cheese? Well, wonder no more, because today we're diving into the world of creamy, cheesy, lobstery goodness. First things first, gather all the ingredients. You'll need one live lobster, about a pound and a half. Then, pick up one pound of elbow macaroni, a half cup of unsalted butter, half a cup of all-purpose flour, four cups of milk, half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, and one cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. Don't forget the breadcrumbs. About a cup should do it, and a sprinkle of fresh chopped parsley for garnish. Now, on to the fun part. Start by cooking your lobster. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil and add the lobster. Boil it for about 15 minutes, then let it cool. Once it's cool enough to handle, remove the meat from the shell, chop it into bite-sized pieces, and set it aside. Next, fire up your stove and melt the butter in a large saucepan. Whisk in the flour until it forms a smooth paste. Gradually add the milk, stirring constantly. You're looking for a creamy, lump-free sauce. Add in the paprika and black pepper, stirring to combine. Now, it's cheese time. Stir in the cheddar and gruyere until it's melted and gooey. If it doesn't make you want to dive right in, you're doing it wrong. In the meantime, cook your macaroni according to the package instructions. Once it's cooked, drain it and add it to the cheese sauce. Stir until every noodle is covered in that beautiful cheese. Now add your lobster. Stir it in and let it mingle with the macaroni and cheese. It's like a party in your saucepan and everyone's invited. Transfer your mixture to a baking dish, then sprinkle the breadcrumbs on top. Bake it in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the top is golden and crispy. Finish it off with a sprinkle of fresh chopped parsley and voila, you've got yourself a dish that would make even the pickiest foodie drool. So there you have it, the secret to the perfect lobster mac and cheese. It's creamy, it's cheesy, it's lobstery, and it's all yours. Before you dash off to the kitchen, remember to hit that subscribe button. You wouldn't want to miss out on more culinary adventures, would you? So go on, subscribe, and let's keep cooking together. Until next time, bon appetit.